So welcome, uh, thank you for joining me in this hour of yoga. Know that you you do yoga at your own risk, so be aware of what anything feels like and adjust or rest any time you need to. So we're starting lying on our back. So a comfortable position, legs stretched out if that's comfy. If your lower back feels a bit um, tight or uncomfortable, then a bend of your knees might make it more comfortable. And arms just wherever they feel comfortable. So that might be a little way away from your body, palm turned up, but may be different for you. As you lie quietly, start to feel the movement of your body as you breathe. So there's space all around. If you can be aware of that space within your room, and the points of contact that that space has with your body. And as if the space um, sort of had more physicalness, a bit more mass to it, a real thing. So that when you breathe in, you move into that space, that mass of space. And as you breathe out and you, uh, your body contracts slightly, the space moves back with you. So the line that separates your body and the space is moving. Moving as you breathe in and move into the space. And that line's moving again back down as the space grows and you shrink. It's almost like the space has a weight, denseness. Your arms by your sides, kind of move in time with the breath. So as you take your next breath in, your arms reach up to the ceiling, over beyond your head. And as you breathe out, your arms come back down by your sides. Next time your arms are beyond your head, stay there as you keep on breathing. Don't rush to get there though, take your time. Stretch them out long. It doesn't matter whether they're on the floor or not, but stretch them out without lifting your shoulders towards your ears. And then stretching your legs, bring your legs together, push your heels away, pull your toes up towards you. Stretch your fingers wide. Stretch your toes wide, separating every toe. And then relax your hands and feet. Bring your arms back down by your sides. Take a bend of your knees, feet onto the floor. And then hands around your knees, your legs. Bring your knees onto your chest. Take a rock side to side.
and then come to rest in the centre place your feet back down on the floor and then gently bring yourself up to standing version of Tadasana, mountain pose. Weight equal left and right. In your mind's eye, see the footprint that your feet are making on the mat, as if they're in sand. And lift to your full height. So lifting to your full height means being vertical, so not leaning over to one side or forwards and back. And pretty much the only place we can really lengthen is between hips and rib cage. So how would you lengthen it? Maybe by imagining you've got a wide belt around you. The shoulders are relaxed. Outside tips of your shoulders pointing to the side walls rather than uh, rolling forwards. In parallel to the floor and then keeping that full height take a lift of both arms so again your shoulders don't need to lift up towards your ears your belt wide belt still tight upper arms as close as they can be without your shoulders lifting up and elbows straight and then upper arms move a little bit closer to the wall behind so careful that your rib cage doesn't move forwards as you make that action with your upper arms. Look up between your fingers and then reach back and wide. So now your rib cage does push forwards. It's a big lift of the centre of your chest. And look forwards, reach up. And then forward fold. Bit of bend of your knees. Picture gravity taking your rib cage and your head and your shoulders. Right leg back to a lunge. Lifting your chest, look forwards. Right foot back to down face dog. Firm down with your hands, firm down with your feet, tummy button to spine. And then slide forwards to plank. So keep that same pressure with your hands and feet. Hold it steady. Knees gently down. And keeping your elbows in line. Whole of the front body lowers smoothly down. Roll your shoulders back. Take a lift of your chest. Shine your torch forwards up the wall rather than on the floor. That torch coming out of your chest. Look back down, push up to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, down face dog. So step your feet and hands wherever you feel they're best to be. Tummy buttons are spine. We're going to walk through the legs. But as you walk through your legs, stretching one leg at a time, think about hips up and head down. And then both legs stretch. Take your weight on the left foot, look between your hands and step forwards with the right foot to a lunge. Step the left foot forwards, forward fold. A deep bend of your knees, hips down low, shoulders lift. And then straighten yourself up. Palms together at the top. Find your full height again, your wide belt, your relaxed shoulders. Keep the height as your hands come down. And then lift again. Up to your highest. So upper arms gently towards each other. And then a little more firmly towards the wall behind you. Look up, reach back and wide. 
stretch towards the back corners of the ceiling. Look forward to reach up. That same strength in your upper arms. And a forward fold. Left leg back to a lunge. Right foot back to down face dog. So hips up, head down. So move up into spine, forwards to plank. Again, hold it steady. And decide if you're going to leave your knees lifted or whether you're going to place them down on the floor. Then make your smooth descent. Roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Shine forwards. Look back down, push up to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, down face dog. So hips up, head down. Feet firm on the floor, tummy button to spine. Feel the stretch of both legs. Feel as if there's a wall just behind your legs and you're going to pull your heels towards that wall. But you're lengthening your legs. Your toes stay where they are. You're pulling your heels back. And then pull your calves back to that wall as well. So you need a bit of strength down into your hands to do that. And then wait on your right foot. Lift between your hands. Step the left foot through to a lunge. Step forward with the right foot, hang. Deep bend of your knees, a lift of your shoulders, and then straighten your legs, palms together at the top of your full height. Keep your height as your hands come down. And then with the breath. So breath in to lift your arms. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, back up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back to a lunge. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale, plank. Option to drop your knees. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, push back to down face dog. Find your best place for your hands and feet. Tummy button to spine. Hips up, head down. And then that wall behind your legs. You're going to lengthen your feet. Stretch your heels back towards it. Stretch your calves back towards it. And stretch the backs of your thighs back towards it as well. Wonderful. Nice. And then wait on your right, uh, left foot. Slip between your hands. And breath in as your right foot steps forwards. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, palms down. Breath in here. And a breath out. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale, plank. Option to drop your knees. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, down face dog. Firm with your hands. If there are any air gaps underneath your hands, if there is, it's probably under the base of your thumb or your index finger. So squeeze that down. Push firmly so that you can really lift your hips, hips high, head low. And then that wall behind your legs. Your calves come towards it. The whole of the length of the backs of your thighs comes towards it. Length and width of the back of your thighs. Squish them onto the wall. Wait on your right foot between your hands and then breath in, left foot through. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. 
Arms together, exhale, palms down. Breath in, a breath out. And then rest your arms, step your feet just a little bit apart. Let the chatter subside. Gonna balance in third warrior today. So um, we're gonna do it twice through. So we'll do it once once round and then we will um, have a little thought about how to improve. <laughs> so uh, you want to have space behind you. This one's third warrior where you uh, lift a leg out behind. So you want plenty of room behind. If you've got a solid floor or uh, somewhere you like to stand for balance that's less squidgy than the mat, then stand there. And if you want to have something to hold on to, then maybe at one side, either side, would be good. So we're going to start, I need a bit more space at the side. We're going to take the arms out wide, so that's another place you need a bit of space. But if you want to put an arm on something, then that's absolutely fine. And we're going to balance on the left leg first. So your right leg is going to take a little bit of a step back. And whenever we balance, you need a bit of core engagement, so tummy button to spine and also a steady gaze. So I would advise looking a metre or so ahead of you on the floor because you're going to tilt a little bit. So take a breath in. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift your right leg up behind. Just tilt forwards. It doesn't matter if you come an inch off the floor or if you come parallel. You want to keep your hips and your shoulders level with uh, the, the ceiling. So the right hip will want to lift up. See if you can keep it level. And then you're going to take a breath in. Lift your chest. Bring yourself back up. So as you lift your chest, your leg will come back down. Take a moment to rest your arms. So arms wide. Left leg steps a little bit back, so just balance on your toes. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Find that place where you're going to hold your gaze. Take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lift the leg up behind. Tilt over. Doesn't matter how far you go. You might want to press the left heel away or point the toes away. Doesn't matter which. Hips level, shoulders level. And then as you breathe in, lift your chest, bring yourself back up, take the leg back down. And then rest your arms by your sides. So we will do it again, just to think about uh, a way to improve it. So, so one thing that always happens is that, that, that uh, the lifted leg hip instead of staying parallel with the floor, wants to lift up. It's like, that, it's like the leg wants to rotate outwards and lift the hip. Makes it a bit easier to lift up, but we want to keep it square. We want to kind of adjust this, our centre of gravity and keep the hips level rather than one hip lifting up. So in order to let that happen, think about when you lift the leg, imagine that the inside line of your leg is what's initiating the lift. So when you lift, you can't have the inside line of your leg start to point down to the floor. It's got to be trying to lift up to the ceiling and it lifts the leg with it. So that's one thing. And the other thing, when you uh, lift your leg, well, don't lean forwards is what I'm trying to say. Don't lean forwards, lift your leg. And as you lift your leg, you kind of, unless you arch your back, which I don't want you to do, your chest just comes naturally forwards. So don't come forwards and then lift your leg. Lift your leg and just let yourself come as far forwards as your leg lifts up behind. So let the leg lead, let the inside edge of the leg lead the way. So that's gonna lift, inside edge of the leg lifts the leg and the lift of the leg lowers the chest. And still tummy button to spine and a point on the floor where you're gonna hold your gaze. So arms out to the side, the right leg steps back a little bit. So engage your core, find your focal point. Think about the inside edge of the right leg. 
take a breath in. And then as you exhale, lift the inside edge of the right leg to let the leg lift and just tilt forwards with your chest as much as the leg lifts up behind. So you can stop wherever you want to stop. Hold that balance there. Tighten the lifted leg, tighten the right leg. That's going to hold your balance. Beautiful. And then as you take your next breath in, lift your chest and let your leg come down as you lift your chest. Wonderful. So a moment's rest before we go on the other side. And then you're going to step the left leg behind. Take your arms wide. So engage. Find your focal point. Think about the inside edge of the left leg. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift that inside line to lift the leg. And lift the leg to tilt forwards. And when you get as far as you're going to get, then you really strengthen out that left leg, that lifted leg, because that's going to hold your balance. Next breath in to lift your chest to come up. And as you lift your chest, the foot comes down. <laughs> Glorious. Perfect. So have a lie down on your front. Make a pillow with your hands. Rest your forehead on your pillow. Have a moment. And then stretch your arms out in front, stretch your legs out behind. So a comfortable place, straight out in front with your arms, so you need pretty uh, loose shoulders. So wherever it feels comfy with your arms to stretch out and kind of legs parallelish, whatever feels comfy. So we're gonna lift the right arm and the left leg. So as you lift them, imagine uh, that well, don't imagine, lift your uh, right hand and your left foot to lift the arm and the leg. So take a breath in, lift them up, and take a breath out to lower them down. So you can have your head and neck wherever they want. If you want to lift it off the floor as you lift, then that's fine. If it's comfy on the floor, then stay there. So we're gonna do the same arm and leg, but this time, draw your tummy button up towards your spine, roll your shoulders away from your ears, so you're holding the, the whole of your torso firmly and you're going to imagine that that firmness in your torso is what's going to allow your right arm and your left leg to lift up. So take a breath in, lift them up, exhale, lower them down. So hopefully you found, maybe you found, and you're just observing really, um, maybe it was lighter, a lighter, easier lift the second time round that the core was doing the work rather than the leg and the arms from the hand and feet. So this time, uh, left arm, right leg, but think about the hand and the foot making the lift to start. So a breath in to lift them, and a breath out to lower. And then re-engage your whole torso, so shoulders square, tummy button to spine. This time you're gonna lift from your core, so a breath in to lift left arm, right leg, and a breath out and lower. So we're gonna use that second option to uh, do some lifts and lowers. So we're really using the, the center of the body as the strength to do the lift. And we're gonna go with the breath. We're gonna do three on each side, starting with right arm, left leg and alternating sides. So breath in to lift, breath out to lower. Left hand, right leg, breath in to lift. Use your core. Exhale, slowly smoothing down, still using your core. Inhale, right arm, left leg. 
exhale lower. Inhale, other side. Exhale, lower. One more to each side. Breath in to lift. Breath out to lower. Breath in to lift. Breath out to lower. So bring your pillow back. Have a little rest. And then stretch out again. So same actions, tummy bottom to spine, shoulders roll away from your ears, like a tightness across your upper back, a firmness across your upper back. We're going to lift both arms, both legs at the same time. We're going to do four, and each lift is smooth with your inhale, each lower is smooth with your exhale. So don't rush any part of it. But keep using your core to do the whole bit of lifting, not lifting your hands or your feet. Uh, they will lift obviously but you're lifting from your body and head and neck can go wherever they want so a breath in to lift both arms both legs a breath out to lower breath in to lift breath out smoothly down breath in to lift breath out to lower Final breath in to lift, biggest lift, lengthen as well, exhale to lower and then let everything flop, maybe bring your pillow back. So I'm going to continue with a bit of core strengthening roll onto your right side so um, ideally you'll be facing um, uh, your screen uh, like uh, like I am here if you haven't got room it's fine but it's kind of a bit easier to, to see because it's not something that we've done very often it's, it's a kind of a side plank, Vasistasana it's called in yoga. And uh, we're going to start with our knees bent, but your knees in line with your hips and your shoulders all the way down, as much as you can be. And then this right elbow is underneath your shoulder, but not directly underneath, a little bit in, very slightly in. So this is in, closer to my waist, that's out, further away. So a little bit in from directly underneath slight angle in because we're going to lift up and then it's going to be right underneath. So this shoulder, the lower shoulder, the right shoulder, you're going to lift up out of it as if you're lifting your armpit away from the floor and keep it like that the whole time. That's going to give your shoulder the right place to have the strength. Left arm on your side, press down really firmly through your right elbow and then lift your hips up off the floor but keep lifting up out of your right shoulder don't let it collapse lovely take the arm right up to the ceiling as if someone's lifting your waist away from the floor the side the right side of your waist away from the floor lift it up high lovely and then hips gently back down arm down by your side so have a moment to relax i'm going to do that one more time You've got options on making it harder and easier though. If you need to be a little bit easier, you bring your knees further forwards and that's where you're gonna lift from. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you're gonna stretch your top leg out along the floor. So try if you've got your leg lifted, uh, stretched out, or if you're in the same position as before, try and keep that same line. Obviously, if you've taken your knees forwards, you're out of the line and recheck your elbow a little bit in, a little bit in from uh, vertical and then left arm on your side. Okay, push down firmly into your right elbow, lift your hips up off the floor. So keep lifting up out of your right shoulder, don't sink into it. And then you're gonna stretch the left arm all the way over. Keep pushing into your elbow, keep lifting the right side of your waist up away from the mat 
If you want a little bit more, you're going to lift that straight leg if you've got a straight leg to parallel as well. Lovely. How much space can you get under your right waist? Lifting it up from the floor. Beautiful. Very gently lowering your hip back down to the floor. Arm on your side. Spin yourself around. And you're going to come onto the other side. So start in the mid position, unless you know you want to have the easier position, which is, um, or the lighter position rather, which is knees in front. So don't go for something that's too strong for you. And elbow a little bit inside your shoulder, because when you lift up, it's no longer inside, it's right underneath. And you're lifting up out of your left shoulder this time, right arm on your hips. Keep that lift up out of your left shoulder, push into the elbow, lift your hips. Now reach your arm up to the ceiling. So as high away from the floor with your left waist as you can. And gently back down with your hips. Arm by your side. Have a moment. So take your option. A little bit lighter. Same again. Or a little bit stronger. Put out. Reset your elbow. Reset your shoulder, lifting out of your shoulder. Because it is strong on the shoulder. You've got to have it in a good position. Right arm on the side so push down into your elbow as you continue lifting up out of your shoulder and then lift your hips lovely right arm goes all the way over so check that that left shoulder is still lifted out maybe lift the right leg left waist lifting up away from the floor Beautiful. Very slowly hip back down to the floor. Arm on your side. Turn onto your front. Have a little rest for your arms wherever they want to be. So maybe making a pillow, maybe resting them by your side. Turning your head to one side. And then hands under your shoulders. Push up to hands and knees and then all the way up to standing. So we're keeping the mat this way if you've got it that way. We're going to do trikonasana, triangle pose. So we face the long edge of the mat. So if you're... Uh, if you can't get your mat this way around, be facing the left. <clears throat> and then feet wide apart. Triangle's easier with your feet as wide apart as you can because it's easier to get that um, angle at your hips. So hands on hips, left leg turns in, right leg turns out. And imagine if you had, and then turn to face the long edge of your mat. So imagine if you had a wall right behind you Feel how your right buttock is kind of touching the wall more solidly than your left. So it's like you want to, it's like to tucking it under to try to make them even. It's like an outward rotation of this right leg to, uh, to tuck your buttock under to make it uh, less, more flush against the wall. Now we're going to think about the back leg, strong as ever, like a pole, a wooden pole at an angle into the ground and you're going to dig it into the ground an inch into the ground feel like it's digging in take a breath in and then as you exhale still digging that pole into the ground lean your body over slide down your imaginary wall so your back ribs and your shoulders stay against the wall and the back of your head And if your kneecap feels tight, a tiny little micro bend in your right knee to stop that pressure. 
then let your right arm just drop down. Turn the back of the hand towards your legs, have a bit of contact there, and the left arm reaches up. So tuck in your chin, turn and look up at your top thumb, and if that's not comfy on your neck, then look forwards instead. Dig that pole down into the ground again, an inch into the ground, and then you'll find you've got a bit of lift through the sides of your waist, get that wide belt on you again, and lengthen both sides of your waist. It's not about getting your right fingers to the ground because that's going to make your right side waist collapse. So long through your left side of your waist. Lean the, uh, sorry, the right side of your waist and then lean the left side of your body back against the wall. Tuck your right buttock under. Lovely. So top hand behind your back, palm face out and then turn and look down at your right foot. Turn your shoulders that way as well. Let your shoulders relax and a deep bend of your right knee. Then a breath in to stand up. Turn your toes to the front, hands on hips. So right leg in, left leg out. Torso square to your long edge. Back of your body in contact with the wall, so your back ribs, your shoulders, and then the right leg this time is your pole, and you're going to dig it down into the ground. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out with the strength in that back leg, hinge at the hip. So you're making this angle at your left hip, and a tip crease. Spine is staying long. So the left shoulder would like to drop down to the floor a bit more, but you're going to keep that lifted in order to keep the left side of your waist feeling long. Keep digging your pole deeper into the ground. Feel the wall behind you as well. Just make any little adjustments. So maybe a bend in the left knee if it feels like it needs it. And then drop the left arm down. Stretch the right arm up. Maybe tuck in your chin and look up at the top thumb. Dig your pole in again. Lift up out of it, feel that wide belt. Even the left side of your waist can accommodate the wideness of the belt. Okay, so your palm is facing the way that you're looking. And then top hand behind your back, palm face out. Look down at your left foot, a deep bend of your left leg. And then a breath in to come back up. Hands on hips, feet to the front, a heel toe of your feet to hip distance apart, or Uttanasana, forward fold. So feel your footprints on the floor again, an equal left and right. Breath in to lift your chest, and then a breath out to hinge forwards. And take a bend of both knees and then let gravity take your rib cage down down as far as it wants to go maybe it meets your knees maybe it gets stopped before that point but that's okay head and neck relax and then let go of your hips take a hold of the opposite elbow with each hand check that your footprint is the same as before your legs are just to support uh, for your the base of your spine so they're hoisting the base of your spine up and then the rest of your spine is hanging forwards draped over your legs release your elbows a deeper bend of your knees tuck your tailbone under tuck your chin in and a roll back up to standing Feet wide apart once again, wide leg forward fold. So a bit of a turn in with your toes, hands on hips. And again, make your footprints. It's a bit harder. Make sure the outside edges of your feet are gripping the floor. Keep it that way, take a breath in. And then exhale, hinge forwards. So feel your feet as you hinge, outside edges of your feet, 
heels and the balls of your feet. And when you can't go any further with a flat back, then release your hips and then again let your rib cage be taken by gravity and then let your head be taken by gravity. If your fingers don't touch the floor, then hold your legs for a bit of support so that you feel uh, you don't feel like you're just hanging in midair. If your fingers touch the floor, then be touching the floor. So feet still grounded in the floor, outside edges pressing down. And then a bit of a lift of the backs of your legs. So like the skin on the backs of your thighs, pushing up towards the ceiling. Take a breath in as you really push them up. And then as you exhale, soften your shoulders, relax your head and neck again. Stay there for two more breaths. A breath in to push up through the backs of your thighs. Feel there is really some movement as you lift up. And then as you exhale, any tension in your shoulders and head and neck can go. One more breath in. Lovely, and then one more breath out. Then take a good bend of both knees. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, so a little bit forwards of uh, your hips, and then heel toe your feet slightly in towards you for a, a squatting distance, so a bit wider than hip distance, and toes wide out to the side. And when you're ready, lower yourself down. So you can move your feet as you lower down. There's no rush to get down. You can stop anywhere you want as well. So you can rest your elbows on your thighs if you want to. If you can come all the way down, then elbows in and then push your thigh, you push your knees out with your elbows. Lift your chest. Nice tummy, um, tailbone heavy. Beautiful. So if you're low down to the floor, you might be able to just put your hands behind you and, and, and sit back. Otherwise, Reach forwards with your hands, lift your hips, get your hands on the floor, and then kneel yourself down. Take a lie down on your back. Stretch your legs out. Just observe any sensations in your hips and legs as you lie on the floor. feet onto the mat and make our way up to sitting so either rocking forward sort of rolling to one side and we're going to twist so if you have a block or a cushion to sit on it's always good for a twist easier to keep the spine lifted legs stretched out in front sit well onto your um, block or cushion, not perched on the end. Get a real light feeling like the backs of your thighs are touching down onto it so that you're as lifted as you can be. And then you're going to bend your left knee, cross your foot over your right thigh and have your foot on the floor. So your foot can be at any angle, but you're going to interlock your fingers and draw that knee as if towards your right armpit or right shoulder. And as you draw it across you and in towards you, your lower front ribs, you're going to pull up towards your knee to let yourself sit a bit taller. So there's hopefully, probably, a bit of stretch going on on the outside of this left thigh as you pull the knee right across to your body. You're going to try and keep a hold of that feeling. So you can either keep your right hand on your knee like that or you can wrap your arm around if that gives you a good purchase to hold your knee in. Find what feels like a good place to hold your knee and then left hand behind you on the floor. So the left hand helps you as you push your front ribs up towards your knee, helps you sit tall. So keep your knee pulling out towards your 
uh, right armpit, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, turn your chest to the left. So you don't have to look over your left shoulder yet, but be focused on your, uh, your knee staying across your body. Don't let it come out to the side to help you twist further. It will stop you twisting as far as you might normally twist, but that's okay. So every breath in, lift as tall as you can, and every breath out, a little bit of a twist further round. But knee towards your armpit. So remember, you don't have to turn your head over your shoulder just yet. I kind of think that that uh, it gives you a bit more ability. If you just look for, straight forwards, it kind of takes more attention on the actual twist. And I'm going to take two more breaths. So as you breathe in, lift up. And as you exhale, this time look out over your left shoulder. One more breath in. One more breath out, knee to armpit. And then gently relax your leg, relax your shoulders, make your way back to the front. Stretch your leg out. So sitting tall, we're going to take the right leg over the left. Interlock your hands round your knee. Draw your knee in towards your left armpit and then lift your front lower front ribs up towards your knee. So there's kind of two motions going on. One's lifting you tall, one's getting a stretch across the outside of the right thigh. So remember you can hold your knee with your hand, uh, with your left hand or with your left elbow or arm and then right hand on the floor behind. The right hand on the floor behind to help you lift up tall as you breathe in. And as you exhale, you're going to turn to the right. But remember, don't look over your right shoulder yet. Just think about turning your rib cage and keeping your knee drawn over to the left side. So every breath in, lifting tall. Every breath out, turning your torso. big effort today with taking the knee across the body and in towards the left armpit. So two more breaths, a breath in, lifting tall, and as you exhale, turn and look over your right shoulder. One more breath in, one more breath out, back of the right shoulder into the space behind it as your knee comes towards your left armpit, and then release everything. Just relax a little bit, let yourself turn to the front. Stretch out your leg. If your legs a little shake if they need a shake, maybe shoulders need a bit of a roll as well. And then move your block. Take a lie down on your back with your knees bent. Just relax your arms to start. Take a little twist, a uh, gentle twist of the neck because the shoulders have done a lot of work today. So just turn towards the right, just your head and neck. You twist at your neck so your head turns, so your right ear comes down towards the floor uh, and then back to the ceiling. And then turn your head to the left. So your left ear comes down towards the floor and back to the center. So no movement in your shoulders, no tension in your shoulders. Turn your head to the right. Turn to the center. Turn to the left. Come back to the center. And then arms wide out to the side, palm face up. So we've done a twist of the upper body sitting up. So it's quite an effortful twist as we sit up. You can take a twist, uh, a lying down twist. So more relaxed twist and a bit more twist of the lower spine. You're going to slide your hips a little bit over to the right. Twist your hips back down on the floor. Knees onto your chest. So tuck them up high. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, take your knees over to the left. So think about, move slowly. Think about your right arm staying on the floor as your legs go down to the left. 
And you can let your left leg go down earlier than your right leg if you want. Let that find the floor and then see where your right leg wants to go. And it's often nice to take your right hand on top of your left, uh, your left hand on top of your right leg, just to guide it down a little bit further. So if you want to make any adjustments, do make them. Might feel quite nice because we have just twisted another way, so you might be feeling uh, like this twist is a little easier than usual. So enjoy it if it does. So you can look up the ceiling or you can turn and look over your right hand. But relax everything. Relax your ankles and your knees, your tummy. As you breathe in, draw that right knee closer down towards the left knee. And as you breathe out, draw the back of the right shoulder and the right arm down to the floor, firmer to the floor. with a slow breath, it's a slow seesaw action. And if you're looking out over the right, then turn towards the ceiling. Stretch your left arm out. So you can bring both knees together or you can bring your right knee first up onto your chest and then your left knee. Then both feet on the floor, centre your hips again, right in the middle. Pick up your hips, slide them over to the left side of your mat, and then bring both knees onto your chest. Tuck them up nice and tight. So feel the back of your left shoulder and the back of your left arm on the floor. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, take both knees over towards the right. So think about the left arm. If you want, you can let your right knee come down first. See if that will find the floor and then see where your right leg wants to go. So it doesn't matter how long it takes you to get to your final twist position. Whenever you're ready, right hand on your left knee. And looking up at the ceiling or turning out over towards your left arm. Relaxing your ankles, your knees, your hips, your tummy, your shoulders. Breath in, left knee towards your right knee. A breath out, a left shoulder back towards the floor. Stretch out the right arm and maybe left leg first or maybe both legs together roll onto your back. Once you get there, feet on the floor, centre your hips and then bring your knees onto your chest again, hands around your knees. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, bring your forehead up towards your knees. Relax your shoulders, squeeze into a tight little ball. And then gently roll your upper back and the back of your head back down to the floor. Feet on the floor, arms a little way away from your body, palm face up. Make your lower back feel comfortable. And if it feels right, then extend your legs out along the mat as well. If that tenses up your lower back, then feel free to bend your knees if you want to. Close your eyes. Just observe your position and if there's any adjustments you want to make, maybe shuffling at the shoulders, stretching the arms or legs, make any adjustments you want to. Become aware once again of the space above your body. The space above your body in the room. It's like there's space filling the room. 
and it fills right down to where the front of your body is lying on the floor. And in your mind's eye, give it that bit of um, bit of density, a bit more substance than just air. Become aware of the the line that separates your body and that space and how that line moves. Sometimes the body takes up more room and the space less and sometimes the space comes down onto your body. changing the proportions in the room, the proportion of body to space as you breathe. Become aware of the line on the back of your body and the mat. The line that separates the back of your body from the mat. It's just a flat line, a plane. And it doesn't move, but as you breathe, maybe as you breathe out, more of the back of your body has contact with that plane. your arms up, stretch your arms over beyond your head, stretch your elbows straight but keep your shoulders relaxed, a big strong stretch and then bring your legs together, push your heels away, pull your toes up towards your face and then point your toes away. Release the stretch. Take a bend of your knees, bring your feet onto the mat. And then bring your knees onto your chest. One hand on each knee so that you can guide your knees around in a big circle. And then a circle the other way. to a rock side to side. Have a look around, see which side you've got the room to roll towards and then roll towards it. Roll all the way onto your side. Have a moment lying on your side and then come back up to sitting. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope to see you again soon.